2020 has been stressful, exhausting, frustrating, unmotivating, and Anton, what's a more positive phrase for the worst year ever? Every day, we wake up and there seems to be something bad happening in the world. You're thinking, could it get any more worse than this? And then it does. Precisely because of this, you need to start a YouTube channel. Hey, it's Y, and in this video, I'll be sharing with you why I started a YouTube channel and why you should as well. Let's not waste your time and let's just get straight into it. The first reason is income. I love watching videos on how to make money, how to make passive income, or how to build multiple streams of income. And what every single video says or what every blog post I've read says is to start a YouTube channel. I mean, you don't need to invest anything big in starting a YouTube channel. All you need is a camera, even just your phone, and an editing device. It's really so easy and all you need is time, creativity, and discipline. Now I know YouTubers always say that you can't get rich from doing YouTube, but it's still earning something, right? <laughs> I don't plan on becoming a big YouTuber. Honestly, I don't want that kind of fame. But of course, the goal is to be able to monetize this channel. And it's probably gonna take me a while to get there, even two years or more. But it's okay, we'll get there, hopefully. And of course, if your only motivation to do YouTube is to earn, then you're really gonna lose that drive. Cause it's really so hard to get monetized. <laughs> Also, I just want to add that I'm still a college student. I'm not even at the point where I'm actually building my career. And with everything that's been going on this 2020, people losing their jobs, businesses closing down, the economy debt rising, I realize how important it is to build multiple streams of income. So yes, I'm still studying and focusing on my career, but at the same time, I'm trying to build multiple streams of income, like doing blogging, doing YouTube, my small businesses, and investing. Number two is building your personal brand. What I also learned from watching YouTube videos on why you should start a YouTube channel is to use it to build up your personal brand and your career. This is actually what Bite the Gram means. It's to embrace the social media culture of sharing your life online. It's to use social media as a powerful platform to boost your career and the name you're trying to build for yourself. This means that whatever you are doing, you need to start a YouTube channel and start a blog, and set up your social media sites. Whether you're a gardener, a professor, a chef, a fitness instructor, lawyer, doctor, med student, law student, you need to start a YouTube channel. It's an amazing way to share and promote what you do and to build a following of people who support you in your career. I mean, in this capitalistic world, even people are commodities, so you need to be able to efficiently market yourself. <laughs> That's kinda sad, honestly. <laughs> Plus, you'll never know who needs your advice or your content, so if you're good at something, then share it with people through YouTube. For example, look at Lian Austria or Oliver Austria on YouTube. He's a licensed and registered architect. And just this quarantine period, he blew up and he now has over 1 million subscribers just from reviewing houses of famous YouTubers and celebrities. The third reason is YouTube can be a creativity outlet. Especially this quarantine, it's important to keep the creative juices flowing so that you won't lose your mind. <laughs> Making and creating something can be helpful to have something to look forward to, even just little things like cooking or baking or making a poem or drawing. You're always looking forward to finish whatever you're doing so that you can treasure the final output, right? <laughs> So that's really what YouTube is for me. With what I'm doing, I'm able to keep in touch with the kid in me or the creative side in me. So I'm able to create something that hopefully people could enjoy, would enjoy. 
point number three is also tied with my fourth point, which is for mental health. 2020 has really taken a toll on my mental health, and I'm sure this is true for most people, if not everybody. It really seems like there's no hope anymore for the future. So with this in mind, I started YouTube because of two reasons. First is that the world is gonna end anyway, so <laughs> might as well go at it and start a YouTube channel. And second, since everything seems so hopeless, might as well be the one to create something to look forward to in your life. I know this might be quite a negative way to look at things, but it's my way of turning the situation into something I could enjoy and I could look forward to. In the start of quarantine, I wasn't doing anything. I was just binging TV shows and movies, and I felt like I was not being productive and that I was not making something out of my life. I mean, that's really what's happening, right? Everything is at a pause. But in reality, we're still growing, we're still living, and the world is still moving forward. So mentally, it's quite difficult to keep up with the pace of the world as it moves forward, especially that our actions and interactions are limited. And for me, I have no work and no classes, and I wasn't doing anything. So I had more time to cry, and to overthink, and to cry, and to overthink, and cry, and overthink, and over, and over, and over again. <laughs> and it's really so mentally draining. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but all I'm saying is that I started YouTube to keep my mind busy, to keep it productive, and to have something to look forward to. And this has really helped my mental health a lot. Of course, I just want to add that people are different. We have different mental states. This might be working for me because I'm always hungry for output. But for another person who already has so many things on their hands, this might also um, be just more stressful for them. Starting a YouTube channel might be more stressful for them. And the last point is for self-development and self-improvement. This is honestly the main benefit that I'm getting out of what I'm doing with Bite the Gram. I mean, just this quarantine, I was able to start my blog, bitethegram.com. And yes, I did make the entire website. No, I didn't pay anybody else to do it. And yes, I do write and make every single thing. The featured photos, the pubs, the captions. I'm tired. <laughs> And same with YouTube, I conceptualize everything on my own, I shoot and edit everything, and I make the thumbnails. And these are things that I didn't even know how to do before. So everything is really a start for me. I'm doing everything for the first time. And it's really so much work, but at the same time, it's also really worth it because I know that day by day, I'm continuously improving myself and making myself better. And yes, I do believe that you should invest in yourself first before you invest on other things or other people. <laughs> Char. <laughs> Actually, doing YouTube has also become a way for me to practice and improve speaking. I'm really bad at public speaking. Honestly, I easily lose my train of thoughts and I get easily nervous, anxious, sweaty. <laughs> And this is also the same for my first and my second videos. But over time, I'm able to work on it and now I'm more comfortable with myself and I'm more familiar with how I want to sound like and how I want my message to come across. Of course, it's also a way to boost confidence. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still do cringe a lot on my videos. I can't watch myself after I've edited my videos. I also still do overthink a lot that maybe I'm too boring or I'm not really making interesting videos or maybe I'm being too boastful or that people actually secretly hate me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still working on not caring on what people think of me and just continuing to work on myself and to make content that's meaningful. And these are my reasons on why you should start a YouTube channel. I've only been on YouTube for a month, but it's been fun. Aside from the constant overthinking of what people think of me. <laughs> but I'm working on it and working on myself and moving forward towards monetization, building my personal brand, having a creativity outlet, improving my mental health, and building my skills.